Hello, welcome back to the Expert Stand Rose of Glory series, where in the last episode we progressed to the third round of the cup and a meeting with our old opponents Taunton Town FC by beating SL Benfica 107 0 And in this episode we played take on AC Parto to Boca in the fourth round of the league. By the way, um in between the last match, the team Red Bull Diamonds FC had their manager Sparky 03 sacked. And the new manager has changed the name of the club, which was a bit of a strange event. But from this moment forth, Red Bull Diamonds FC is no more and will now be known as Malmo. So, Malmo is what you'll be seeing in the match itself. So, let's take a look at the part of the Tota Boca squad and see how they compare to us. As you can see, this is a very strong squad, about the same strength as ours. And it's also a very balanced squad, with a lot of 11 bar players and a lot of 10 bar players in it too as well as their new signing, 13-bar striker Predag Lukovic, who wasn't there for the start of the season, but has since been brought in. They have a 19-man squad, but apparently their new manager is in the process of revamping the squad, having taken over it midway through last season. They haven't had the best of starts despite their strength, so let's see how it compares to our squad. Pretty similarly, although the presence of Miramontes and King in our defence means our defence is stronger than their defence. But let's see the team news and see how the teams line up against each other. Knights line up in a 4 5 1 formation with Ant Connolly in goal. A back four Pim van de Creese, Ledley King, Aquila Santa Maria, and Pedro Miramontes. Midfield of Ray Tassau Etta, Sergei Kivjakovsky, Alvita Roma, Sebastiao Quimado, and Raymond Hargreaves. And a front low man of Celsa Mota. Our team has an average age of 27. Pato de Boca also line up in a 4 5 1 formation with Mark Angel in goal. A back four, Dodin Virgilio, Dixon Coffey, Ken Kelly Dunlair, and Tom Darren. The midfield of Anders Saralegri, Vince Ingham, Albert Norman, Brian Pierre Tero, and Hal Tobin. And a front low man of young striker Jez Jenning. Their team has an average age of 28. So, let's go live from Supermassive Black Hole for our third home game already this season. We really need to make the most of our home games, so let's see how we do in this one. Captains for this match are Pim van der Kreese for Knights of Sidonia and Vince Ingham for AC Parto to Boca. The referee is Manuel Fikus of Skill 2, Harshness 8. Knights are in the red strip, although due to an error on X11's part, they weren't actually able to show the strips in this match. All the images went down, and that's why the club logo in the background isn't there either. The other matches in this division we have Belfast City are playing Old Love Craftians and Malmo are taking on Colonel Getafe which leaves Roma Turner to play Red FC and we're underway a chum goal by Celso Mota and he scores! Celso Mota, Vanessa Sardinia gives us the lead inside the 4th minute of the game great start as we can see Knights have another chance a head on goal by Ray Tatao Etta Saved by Mark Angel. It was a promising start for us this so far. Meanwhile, Roma Returner have taken the lead against Red FC as we are a freaky and dangerous position in the 11th minute. It's shown by Pedro Miramontes. And it's taken care of by Mark Angel. First time Pedro Miramontes, I believe, has not scored from the free kick. Although, I could easily be wrong about that. The diving header by Celso Mota. Just wide. While the criticality that defined our season so far seems to have gone away in this match with four chances but Salsa Motors the only one to put it in the back of the net. That said, Parto de Boca don't seem to be doing anything in this match at the moment. Red FC got one back against Roma Return, but Roma Return seems to be on top of that game. As we approach half time, and it is 1 0 to Knights. Uh, we had four chances in the first half, but only one found the back of the net. While we're also having majority of possession, but Parto de Boca are being abject for such a strong squad, they are doing surprisingly poorly. The bottom of the table clash between Malmo and Kerr has Tafe is currently in a 1 1 draw, while Old Love Craftians are struggling against Belfast City as the second half gets underway. And we have a card in the first minute of the second half as Pedro Miramontes has been yellow card for shirt pulling. And Wayne Keeble is going to come on for Jez Jennings to give Parto de Boca some more fed up front after they failed to penetrate our defence. We have a precise by Celso Mota. Caught by Mark Angel. Mota's had plenty of chances, but only one's found the back of the net, and that was his first one. Angel seems to be flipped to speed now. Trying to attack it. Shot from the tight angle by Raymond Hargreaves as he scores! 
Raven Hargreaves doubles the lead in the 62nd minute with Salsa Major providing the assist, the assist this time. 2 0 Knights. Nothing has been really happening in the other games of the division at the moment. So, but wait, Olaf Crafton has just taken the lead against Belfast City, so they are back into second place in the league. As Devin Riley comes off back with Santa Maria, so that the young Irish defender can get some game time. We've got a Lobbets out there from Celso Mota, punched away by Mark Angel. Mota has had plenty of chances and only scored once. Andrevich on for Brampure Tero. Bring some more midfield strength in for Aparto Taboka. We've got a header by Raymond Hargreaves. And it's saved by Mark Angel. So as this second half is coming towards the end, it looks like it's going to be a quite easy win for us with 2-0. Lucio Rebello come on for Wayne Keeble. And in the 88th minute we have a side side by Pim Van de Crease and it's easily caught by Mark Hanghal. But we are freaky in a dangerous position in the 89th minute. Is it Pedro Mir Montes? No, he aims it to Alvito Romo who heads towards the goal and scores! Alvito Romo scores from Pedro Mir Montes an indirect free kick. So this is going to be a very good result for us a 3-0 win against Pato de Boca who have been very, very poor despite their Colossal squad strength. Pedro Miramontes was the man of the match, despite the fact that this is the first time he failed to score from a free kick, but he was crucial in providing two assists for Celso Mota at the start of the game and for Alvita Romo near the end of the game. Dixon Coffee was part of Boca's man of the match. But part of Boca were pretty poor and should have really done better with the squad they have. So, just why did they do so badly? Well, for a start, their form wasn't particularly good at all. It was much lower than ours, which is why they performed nowhere near as well as they could have done. Secondly, his tactics were somewhat predictable and they always played the same attacking and defensive styles. Finally, the fact that he played no playmaker allowed us to capitalise on putting our best possible playmaker choice. Team of the week this week is Alvis Brussel of Red FC. Back four, Gert Akin Nicholson, Rome Returner, Ledley King, Knights of Sardinia, Pedro Miramontes, Knights of Sardinia, and Clearing Coulage, Rome Returner. A midfield four, Renzo Giannigi, Rome Returner, Tommy Trapp, Rome Returner, Kings the Oaks, Old Love Craftings, and Ben Buckley, Old Love Craftings. A front two of Elson Corrin, Rome Returner, and Alex Youngskog, Rome Returner. The outfield players are made entirely up of three teams, and the three teams are most likely to get promoted out of this division. Meanwhile, we pick up our manager of the round of war for the second week running, so we're now tied with G2K virus and those stakes. Let's see the standings after the latest round of matches. Knights remain top of the division after the win over AC Parto de Boca with a 3 0. All the Craftings remain in second, although they struggled a bit against Belfast City in the second half, they eventually won 3 1. Roma Turner are in third place and after they beat Red FC 4 2. Meanwhile, Colonel Katafe beat Malmo 3-2 in a thrilling contest. Our next league game is against Malmo. But first, we are hosting Taunton Town for the first time since the end of season 32. Can we get revenge on them? Or would it be time to go out of the cup to try and preserve our team's average form to focus on the league campaign? Find out next time. <laughs>